you spend an entire month back in high school, you hear a lot of stories. Once the students got comfortable with me, they had no problem sharing thoughts about anything and everything. And the most common topic the students here at L.A. Matheson Secondary School wanted to talk about was the unfair reputation that comes with being from Surrey. Can you tell us a little bit about the reputation you think Matheson has? Everyone told me it's a bad school and some people don't care about the reputation, right? And they just want to do the best they can do and I think like those people don't get enough credit. People think there's gangs or there's a lot of police intervention that it's a very scary place to be. When I moved to Surrey, a lot of people like criticized me for it. It has a really bad reputation with gangs and the police and drugs and violence. Those issues have become dominant as stigmas of Surrey and they can really weigh on the students of Matheson. If the view is negative, then it's obviously going to have a negative impact on the student mindset. It's not just the students who feel it, but staff as well. For Ellie Matheson teacher and longtime Surrey resident Annie O'Hanna, ending the stereotype is a communal effort. I know for some students, for myself, it's always about what else can we do? How else can we contribute? How else can we make ourselves known to be good and smart and, and diligent and, and service oriented? And that comes straight out of the idea of we need to buck that stereotype and really change it. The Surrey School District is one of the fastest growing in the province with an influx in population each year. So for students here at Matheson, it's a simple message to not judge their city by what you see and hear in the news. It's like being a student anywhere else, but it's more tight-knit, like there's a lot of culture, especially in Surrey. Jason D'Souza, CBC News, Surrey.